All right, all right, all right. Okay, uh, so coming live, uh, coming live to you from my car. Uh, this is uh, today's video message for my friend Leela, who lives across the world from me in a European country. While I live and have mostly lived my whole life in the U.S. and the state of Oklahoma. And, uh, <clears throat> It's almost the weekend. It's Friday. Uh, TGIF, they say. Um, it's Friday, July 9th, 2021. And if today's video message for my friend Leela is... Leela, if you're watching, I want to uh, take the time to talk to you about uh, art. And specifically your art. Uh, you're a great writer. A uh, great poet. Um, and I love your creativity. I love the way that you're able to create things. And uh, I have such a, a mind and a gift for writing, uh, for coming up with beautiful imagery. Um, the poetry you've shown me is really, really good. Um, and you've been an inspiration for my own poetry. You know, I've uh, written a lot of stuff about you. And I just, you know, want to talk about art in general. I love art. I always have. Um, even as a child, I had a strong affinity towards it. I was always drawing and writing things. I was always painting. Uh, you know, I would draw, you know, through several sketchbooks with, you know, pencils, pens, crayons, you know. And, you know, I'd go through reams of, like, copier paper drawing on that, and uh, I was always inspired and interested in, like, looking at art. I, I, had, I had an encyclopedia set as a kid well, that my mom had, and I would, you know, she gave it to me, and I would go through there and look at, you know, the paint, you know, pictures of paintings by artists, like Rembrandt and Picasso, um, you know, de Kooning, um, Renoir, people like that. And, um, that was very inspirational to me from an early age. Um, it was interesting, uh, kind of, you know, getting a t sense of all this before I even really knew anything about art. And all throughout school, I took art classes. It was a subject that, you know, was mandatory, and I had to take all through elementary. And in high school, it was an elective, I took art then. And I learned so much about the history of art and different artists and their styles and their work. And that all kind of like absorbed into me <laughs> like a sponge. Uh, and not just visual art. I took uh, classes in music all through elementary, junior high, and high school. Uh, music was always a class I took. Especially when I got into junior high and high school where it was an elective. And I, and I took that to opt out of PE because I'm not... Fit. I'm not physical, and I never liked exercise. <laughs> so I always took music classes where we'd sing and stuff. And I got exposed through one music class about you know the classical music and composers. And uh, I learned so much about that from that class. I learned about the history of a lot of classical and Baroque and Romantic periods of music. And that was inspirational to me uh, because I've always been a fan of music. I've always been a huge music lover my whole life. And learning about Bach, you know, Chopin, Mozart, Beethoven, you know, Haydn, you know, Tchaikovsky, Satie, all of those guys was also very influential to me, especially the older I got and started composing my own music um, and appreciating. I, I always had a listener's appreciation for classical music, but as I got older and started, like, getting interested in performing and writing music, I, I became interested in it from the, the, the writing standpoint, the, from the more theory end of it, and that was very interesting, and, um, you know, music is just as important as any other art, I love all art, you know, no matter the medium, whether it's sculpture, painting, drawing, you know, collage, found object art, <clears throat> Writing, uh, composing, performing uh, music, uh, you know, performing dance, acting, drama, 
all that stuff. I, it's all great. It's all, you know, valid and it's all wonderful. And uh, I love all of it. And to, a, to an extent, I participated in all of that growing up. In various art classes, we would do projects in different media. So, you know, we would paint something, we would draw something, and, you know, and pastels, and then, you know, colored pencils, and then sketching, and painting stuff, and then we would, you know, uh, use clay, and work with sculpture. Um, we would do a lot of different kind of media then, and uh, I took uh, a drama class in high school where I got to perform and act, and that was great. I've always had an interest in acting. I've made short films where I, you know, I acted in them, playing usually the lead. Even recently, I've been, uh, started uh, directing, writing and directing some short films that I not only, like, directed and, uh, shot and edited myself, but was the, you know, usually the only character <laughs> in them. And then even in, as far back in high school, my friends and I would make dumb backyard movies, and we would all act in those. And, uh, I enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed performing uh, to an audience, um, which is kind of weird because I'm in real life. I'm very, you know, kind of standoffish and very shy, and I have difficulty talking to people. Uh, but performing is another thing, and I've always in enjoyed that. And I've always had all these different influences growing up, and uh, I've always surrounded by art. Um, you know, even stuff that when I was gr growing up and didn't realize was really art, but still art, uh, you know, like picture books and illustrations and novels and, you know, uh, and other things like movies and television, which, you know, film and cinema is also an art too, and it's an art form that I love. Um, I'm, a big, I'm a big cinephile and I've always loved movies, uh, just as much as, you know, novels or music or, uh, you know, photography or any other art. Um, and those are just things I still like to do. I still like to draw. I'm not good at it, but I like to do it. Um, I'm, try I'm getting slowly back into painting things. And I've been a photographer for a few years now, seriously. Uh, I've been an avid and serious practitioner of photography the last about four or five years. And, um, you know, and I... I started an Instagram page, which I still do regularly, that is showcases stuff I do, and I, even when I first started, I had a more serious eye towards artistic photography rather than, uh, you know, just selfies or whatever. <clears throat> but going back to the top, the art of writing, I appreciate what you do. Um, you write very beautiful poetry. Um, I, I would hope to one day see it published in a book or something uh, so everyone could read it. That would be great. There's a lot of fantastic uh, poets. I have several favorites and you're amongst them. And I would love, you know, to see your work get recognized uh, broadly by more than just me and a few other handful of people, you know. Because um, your work is great and I, I enjoy it just as much as, you know, you know, classic poets, you know, like Sylvia Plath or Anne Sexton or Marianne Moore or, you know, E. Cummings or you know, whoever, you know. Um, I enjoy all of them, but I enjoy your work too. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm rambling. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen to me ramble on about stuff. Um, I think that will be it. I'll end this video with today's musical recommendation. Uh, so if you haven't heard this, check out the album The Colm Concert. That's K-O-L-N Concert uh, by uh, the jazz pianist Keith Jarrett. Uh, he's probably my favorite pianist ever. He's a big influence on uh, my playing of piano. He's a very distinct style. He's very like improvisational, and uh, he's known for just coming out and just improvising the entire concert performance on a piano. It's amazing. And the stuff he just pulls out of the air is wonderful. And the Cone Concert is his most famous, <clears throat> his most famous work. It's his most famous album. 
and it sold a bajillion copies and it's uh, just a, a masterpiece of live performance uh, so I highly recommend that it's one of my favorite albums ever and I listened to it thousands of times um, and his style is in fact like, had a deep impact on how I play piano which is also very improvisational and, uh, I like composing on the fly and sitting down and just like pulling notes on the air and seeing where it goes that's a big uh, that's my style of piano playing uh, so anyways I appreciate you watching uh, I'm sorry this was long but I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow with the next one uh, take care